Hello there, toy collectors. This is Bosco's Toy Box, and I am back with more toy collectibles. And this time, it is to show you another World Peacekeeper that I got uh, at the Kroger uh, Smith's grocery store for nine dollars and ninety-nine cents on sale from fourteen ninety-nine. And this one is a SAS, which stands for Special Air Service, and it's the same. 30 points of articulation, lots of accessories, and let's just open it up, okay? Uh, get out my little X-Acto knife and cut the seal. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see in front of the camera are the other two World Peacekeepers that I have uh, already reviewed. Okay, and taking Mr. Special Air Service out of his package here, because he does have some um, twist ties, so I will quickly do that, and not to waste too much time doing that. And they generally have two different twist ties one that holds the arm and then one that holds the entire body okay and let's see if I can there we go popped out of the container here now he does have a gun that is rubber banded to his body so let me cut that really quick before I show you what he looks like here and actually it's kind of rubber banded quite a bit actually so I need to cut two different ones okay and there we go okay so Uh, actually, it looks like my gun came broken, and that is not cool. So, let me show you the gun that is broke. That is very upsetting. Um, I want to see if I can, I'm not going to play with it too much, because I want to see if I can super glue that. So, I am just going to leave that as it is. I'm not going to play with it too much. Okay. All right. So he has still got he he was just like really he had so many bands around his whole entire hands and body. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can stand him up so I can show him to you. So this is what the SAS uh World Peacekeeper looks like. He does have a uh, tan uniform, tan camouflage, okay? And he actually has a very nice uh, head sculpt. He's got uh, blue eyes, uh, actually kind of bright blue eyes. And then he does have his uh, blonde hair, blonde eyebrows, and uh, there's no uh, stubble. Uh, was recently shaved like the other one how he had stubble in his hair or I mean I'm sorry stubble in his hair stubble uh, on his chin uh, I'm trying to look at his hair at the same time uh, his hair does have a little bit of detailing where it looks like it's kind of got a dark wash to kind of give the um, hairdo some type of uh, depth or like detailing so as you can see there's some dark spots within the blonde hair so it actually does kind of give it some depth which actually looks really nice okay he does have his same if I can turn it around here he does have the same dog tags like they all come with so he has two little dog tags around his little chain okay 
Now, the pockets, as you can see, that are uh, on the front of the uniform are real pockets, okay? And they actually do or actually can hold something, okay? So that is very cool that they're not sewn shut. They do open and can hold something. And actually, let's take an old, or not an old, let's just take something that was from the previous world peacekeeper which was a, some kind of grenade or something and let's stick the grenade in his pocket and that is just to show you that the pocket does hold an item okay so right there you can see that there is a some type of grenade that is in his pocket okay so working pockets in the uniform now he does have, let's go to his arm. And I need to see something here really quick, which is actually, it's such a small pocket, but it is a real working pocket on his shoulder right there. That is a working pocket. Okay. Let's turn the figure around. He has no pocket on the other arm. It is just a straight piece of cloth, no pockets. And as we move down, uh, actually, let's just move down just a little bit. He does have a belt of some kind on, which if I can look at the accessories really quick, yeah, if I can look at the accessories really quick, that's going to come in handy for what he comes with. And then if we can just move a little bit with the pants to show you that he does have pockets on his pants. Okay. And looking at it off camera, so I can see if it actually opens up. Okay. So he does have two pant pockets that are real pockets so there is a pocket right there and actually let me stick a gun so you can see that the pocket is real okay so let's stand you back up okay so the gun sticking out out of his pocket both sides of the pants have a pocket that is a working pocket okay and then his boots are a high, a high boot that's tan, that's got the treads at the bottom, and uh, much better than, uh, actually, if you can see there, just those, it's much better than just those sneakers, or those top sneakers, or whatever, because uh, I, I much prefer the boot, like on the one on the right there. And then, let's take a look. And now the interesting thing is, as you can see, this is the World Peacekeeper that I reviewed on the previous uh, video. And I had mentioned that his hands are just articulated hands that don't come off. Now on the one on the right, his hands were gloved and can be removed and uh, switched out for other hands that you can buy online. If you don't want him to have uh, gloved hands. And you want him to have bare hands. Now this one comes with gloved hands. Okay. And they can be switched out. And which I have already popped off his hand. So he has the same little uh, peg. Okay. That can be uh, switched out. And then that way if you can. His will be. Probably really easy to match up since he is a, of a lighter skin color. And uh, unlike the one on the right, which he kind of has a... Like a somewhat of a dark complexion. And so it might be kind of hard to match that up. Where it looks like this one that I'm currently reviewing right now. Where it looks like he's just probably... the almost the lightest skin color that they uh, would probably offer for a hand swap. Okay, so let's 
take a look at his accessories. Okay. Let's just have him standing or sitting there. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at is he needs a hat when he's out there in the field. And the hat comes with an elastic band. And let's just see what he looks like with the hat on. The hat goes on his head. Elastic band goes around the chin. And there you go. So he is ready to go out on the field and keep the sun out of his eyes. Okay. All right. Next accessory. Like the previous World Peacekeeper that I reviewed, he came with a pair of binoculars that had an elastic band, the exact same binoculars, okay? And let's get the, let's see if he can, he should have the same kind of grip. Or actually, maybe he doesn't. It, this one might be a little bit more difficult for him to hold these binoculars. Okay. Because he's got a tighter grip, and I'm going to show you that here. He's got a tighter grip, which these binoculars are... Uh, let me bring that back into the camera here. Which these binoculars are fat around the place where you would hold it at okay so let's actually see if he can hold it in his trigger uh, trigger hand here which the trigger hand is a little bit more open okay so there we go so the trigger hand actually holds binoculars a little bit better uh, like the one that I reviewed previously, uh, he held the binoculars in the other hand because it was a little bit more loose and open grip. Okay? And then what we're going to do is let's just take his hat off. And we're going to put the binoculars around his neck. And then we're going to put his hat back on. So you can actually see what he kind of looks like all decked out in his accessories. Okay? Next accessory, we have uh, two. We've got two accessories that go together. Okay, and it actually works with the belt. Okay, so here you've got a knife. Okay, two colored knife, which is black handle, gray blade. And then you got a two color. Uh, uh, what do they call these uh, sheaths or just knife holders I guess and it's tan and uh, black a little bit of an off black not a deep black okay and this is to show you that it does fit in very snug very tight it doesn't um, as you can see if it was to be uh, moved around uh, it's actually housed in the sheath very well and it does have if I can take the knife back out, it does have that little belt loop so he can uh, have it around his belt. Okay. Now, next accessory. Oh, actually, what I want to do is very quickly let's put the knife in his hand just to show you that he actually can hold the knife very well okay so he's got the knife in his hand and it grips around the grip of the knife very well so he's got a hold of it very well okay now next accessory is a canteen okay so there is some detailing on the canteen it's made to look like it's like a leather kind of a pouch or that there's a canteen that's housed in a leather pouch so as you can see there's some stitching along there there's some buttons uh, there is like the buttons are of like a uh, silver or more more like a gold actually and then there is a belt loop for the canteen so you can loop the canteen around his waist which is actually very cool 
and then the cap of the canteen does not come off. It's uh, just a, a molded piece of plastic. But uh, it's a very uh, sturdy piece of plastic. It's not a cheap, soft piece of material. It's like a hard rubber. Okay. Next accessory, which uh, there's three of them. And let me get them out here. Okay, so he has three different pockets or um, pouches, I should say. And again, this is of a gold and black kind of detailing and coloring. And you can see that there's some detailing and you can see like a little pocket within this pouch and some stitching along, make it look like it's a leather pouch, another pocket right there. And then you got a slightly bigger one, longer one. Okay. So very nice little detailing. Nice little pockets that he can actually, or pouches that he can put around his belt loop to really deck them out. Okay. And again, they all have the belt loops. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Next accessory. And I don't really know what it is until I get it completely um, okay so this thing uh, let me just drape it around him for the time being here so you can actually see so I'm not really uh, since it's like kind of translucent so it's actually up against something so it is a camouflage piece of mesh material and it's a uh, Almost four different colors. You got tan, green, black, and brown. And it is just for him, uh, I, I guess, for a uh, camouflage type of uh, hiding. Okay. And then the last accessory, which is a really awesome accessory, if I can get it out. I don't want to break it because... It is that God. Actually, it's very cool. Um, let's see if I can figure this out here. Okay, so this is a, a backpack that he comes with, and it's a uh, off camera. It looks like it's a kind of an off green color i know up against uh on camera and against these lights it's gonna look black but it looks more of a um greenish color okay and the backpack has some nice little detailing like with the stitching and as you can see there i mean it's a pretty elaborate piece of uh accessory here and if i can open this up because as you can see, the front of this backpack, where you can open it up, has these little clips that can close it tight, and then you can uh, open it back up. So let's see if I can uh, figure out, or maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's not clips. Maybe it's just, you push them to the side here. Okay, so you just push them to the side. I thought they were maybe like some kind of clips. So you can open up the backpack. Now the backpack may be kind of hard to see how deep it goes, but let's show you with a gun that I have here. Okay, so the gun is sticking out as you can kind of see right there. Okay, but if you were to tilt the gun, you can actually kind of keep the gun all the way inside, okay? So there is a lot of room to store accessories, okay? But it's not going to be anything for like long guns or anything like that, okay? So let's get the backpack closed back up by pushing the straps back up and over, okay? So now that's what it looks like closed up again, okay? Now, all you have to do is adjust these parts here. 
to make the straps easier for him to put the backpack on. And I'm going to do that here very quickly. Uh, let's take the knife out of his hand. And let's get this backpack on. Okay. And let's get that on. Okay, so now the backpack is on. And now I want to see if I can make it tighter. So it doesn't play off so loose. Okay, so now the backpack is on. And let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so he's standing up. Okay, so now he's got the backpack on. And those straps, you can actually adjust to make the backpack a little bit tighter around his body. But as you can see, I mean, the backpack looks pretty darn cool on him. And I love that accessory. That's probably like the favorite accessory of this figure is that he comes with a big backpack. Not just a backpack. I mean, he comes with those pouches, which I'm not going to. Uh, it's just too much to put on him right now because I hate to make this video so long. But if you were to put these pouches on, and let's. So, like right there. So, that would just show you just what he would look like all decked out. If he had the pouch on, the backpack. He's got his binoculars, he's got his hat on, and then carrying around his knife and everything. That is just pretty darn cool. And what I'll probably have to do is, I'll probably have to take some pictures here and put it on Instagram. And um, just to kind of show you what he looks like all decked out. And uh, definitely going to have to adjust his backpack just a little bit uh, tighter. Okay. But that is the World Peacekeeper Special Air Service. And if I can get him standing up because he wants to fall over right now. If I can just adjust him. Stay. Okay. So that is Mr. Special Air Service. Very cool. Very nice addition to the World Peacekeeper uh, group. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I've got one more World Peacekeeper to review. And then after that, uh, actually, I'm probably going to go out and get uh, maybe one more tonight when I go grocery shopping. And then I actually have another World Peacekeeper from China that I ordered from eBay. So there'll be a few more World Peacekeepers that I am going to review. But awesome toys, and uh, just hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and get some. $9.99 at Kroger Smith Stores. And until next time, have fun with your toys.